There is a great jewel waiting for you. The understanding that you are eternal. The understanding that you are responsible. The understanding that you are guarded and protected. The understanding that there is a supreme justice and the understanding that there is a supreme destination where you can go and find that supreme love our soul is longing for. Now, what does it mean? What are all these levels of understanding? They are the yoga consciousness levels. Ahang Brahmasmi is the first one. I can understand that my soul, my existence, my very consciousness is a product of superior consciousness. It is not a product of atoms, dead atoms, uh, hitting each other somewhere and then they became the, my grandfather or something like that. No. It is very, very clear to understand that consciousness can produce consciousness and not the unconsciousness produces consciousness. Rather, the consciousness can modulate and modify unconscious elements in very many ways. So, we have to accept this. That is the first step in the yoga science. And that's very nice to understand because it takes you away from all the preoccupations just for name, fame, and this material preoccupations, etc. When you accept your spiritual identity, and you look towards achieving information about this and engaging in activities which harmonize with your identity, with your spiritual identity, then you will come to the point of understanding that you are a servant. You're a servant. You're not a, the master. You've never been the master. You tried to be. It didn't work out. You're not the master. You understand it. You accept it. Good for you. So when you understand that I'm not the master, then the next question is then, who do I have to obey? Whose rules are there to be obeyed? And what are those rules? And what is the best participation I can have in there? How can I make myself noticeable as an eternal spark, as an eternal part of the great universal symphony? What is it there what I can do? Eternal existence is an eternal joy. It's not an eternal torture. Therefore, if you are thankful for your existence and you're ready to be a potential, wonderful participant in your surroundings as a light giver, uh, a joy giver, a help giver to the others, then you will definitely uh, understand that uh, being a servant is a natural and positive thing. Nothing to worry about or nothing to be sad about. <laughs>